Soon, a plea deal in the death of an Ocean Lakes High School student from back in 2018. Reporter Penny Commit was inside the courtroom this morning. And Penny, there was nearly a fight between families of the suspect and the victim? Yeah, Jen, that's right. A very emotional day here at the Virginia Beach Courts today. Now, I'm told that it all started because Jacob Meadows, who did plead guilty to killing the Virginia Beach football player, smirked as he exited the courtroom. Then a fight broke out in the hallway. A member of the victim's family was being held back by his fellow family members as the arguments continued. Now, the fight did eventually subside, and both families were escorted out of the courthouse separately by police. Now we do have some footage. News 3 was in the courtroom of Meadows exiting that courtroom. It was circuit court number 10. Now this comes after Meadows entered a plea agreement that will get him no more than seven years in prison. Meadows original second degree murder charge was dropped to voluntary manslaughter, which he did plead guilty to, along with one count of conspiracy and two counts of possession with intent to distribute marijuana. I had the chance to speak with Meadows attorney outside of the courthouse today. Uh, and it's very tragic. It's very unfortunate for both sides. Two families devastated, two young men whose lives have been significantly impacted. Um, it's just a balancing act, but there's no winners in this case. Court documents say this all started back in 2018 when the victim, who is not being named, went with his brother to steal a quarter pound of marijuana from a juvenile that lived on Elson Green. While the drugs were being weighed, documents say that the victim pulled out a handgun, stole the marijuana, and tried to run away. It was at this point, court documents say, that Meadows fired eight rounds, and the autopsy report shows that the victim died from gunshot wounds to the head, neck, and back. Meadows ran away, and he was eventually found by police. Now, just about 15 minutes ago, I did get confirmation from the Commonwealth Attorney's Office that Meadows is expected to now appear back in court because of that fight that broke out. It's going to be a motion hearing, and the judge wants to address what happened here in the courtroom today. Now, before that, he was expected to be back in the fall. That will still stand, but as I mentioned, now we will see him again just one week from today. I'm Lyme Virginia Beach, Penny Commit, News 3.